In this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of the Avatar Nutrition System and app, just so you can see what it's like and decide if it's the right app and nutrition strategy for you. So let's get into it. First, if you aren't familiar with Avatar Nutrition, it's an automated nutrition coach. Essentially, they tell you exactly how many proteins, carbs, and fats to eat, which are also referred to as macros, which is short for macronutrients. And then they make changes to the amount of those macros each week, depending on your results. They figure out how many macros you should eat based on things like your age, height, weight, sex, activity level, and your goals. Okay, so let's get into using the app. This is what it looks like here. So make sure that you are downloading the correct thing if you search in the app store. And if you're not a member yet, sign up. Just as a note, if you are a member of Architect Fitness, you can actually get Avatar through your gym membership at a discounted rate and it has some additional benefits to it like you can be added to our portal and we can go in the back end and look at your food journal and actually give you some tips and tricks if you are not an architect fitness member uh, you can also get a discount by using the code k-o-d-d-y okay so this first thing avatar nutrition is not a um, medical uh, advice so hit I understand select your stat next we need to know your body fat percentage uh, you can do this by some tape measures or you can use a visual estimator if you don't want to measure yourself uh, this is very straightforward you can kind of just slide this dial back and forth doesn't need to be exact and then now you're gonna select your goal so is your goal muscle gain weight loss reverse dieting or maintenance I was pretty lazy during the pandemic, so my major goal right now is weight loss. And then it's gonna ask you how much you want to lose per week. And it has, of course, at the bottom here, this slider, which shows you sustainable, aggressive, or moderate. And of course, most people wanna lose weight as quickly as they can, so they're thinking, oh, I'm gonna be aggressive. But I actually just recommend keeping the slider all the way to the left if fat loss or weight loss is your goal. And hit continue. And then what is your target weight? And I would be real comfortable down around 225. How is your lifestyle? I get about 10,000 steps a day, so I'm gonna go lightly active. And then how often do you exercise? I exercise uh, two to three times a week. So again, I'm gonna go light on that. And what best describes your experience with tracking macros? Uh, at this point, I'm advanced. And then do you have any dietary food restrictions? And we'll talk about this a little bit later, but one of the things I love about macro tracking and this style of nutrition is it is compatible with these other types of diets. So you can do macro tracking if you're vegan, if you intermittent fast, if you're keto, you eat low sugar, if you eat paleo, uh, you don't have to pick one or the other. You can do it in conjunction with those eating styles. Uh, I'm gonna go with none here because I don't have any restrictions. Um, and do I prefer carbs or fats? So some people tend to crave more fatty foods, burgers, and putting lots of butter on things. Some people prefer more starchy foods with higher carb content. I like a balance, so that's what I'm gonna go with here. Okay, so if you are signing up through Architect, fitness and we're going to be kind of overseeing your account you can select if you uh, want to give us access to that uh, ideally yes and also you can let us edit your macros manually okay so now avatar is showing me that they want me to eat 179 grams of protein 225 grams of carbs 77 grams of fat which comes out to a total of 2300 calories per day and that'll give me an estimated week uh, weight loss of 1.1 pounds per week and it'll take me about 38 weeks to get to my goal okay let's go all right, so now it's gonna bring you in here and show you some different um, just things you can do. I'm gonna skip over all this because I'm actually the one giving you the tutorial today. So the main place you're going to be is tracker, bottom right. At the top here, it's showing me how many macros I have left for the day. I can also click the top left where it says consumed to see how many I've consumed. So let's start to track food. And there's three different ways that we can do this. The first way is we can click add food and then we're going to do a search for a food. And for example, this morning I had some Kodiak power cakes, which are really good. I highly recommend them. And because it's a specific brand, I'm gonna click the branded tab and now we get more of the specific uh, items from that brand. If you leave it on general, that's kind of like your 
standard stuff like chicken breast or eggs. That stuff's usually not branded. But uh, in this case, I had a product from a specific brand. So I had the Power Flapjacks Buttermilk. You click on that and it's going to ask you uh, what serving size you had. And so you can do three flapjacks here. I'm gonna click grams uh, because that's typically how I measure things. And we'll just say 120 and add item. Okay, now it's been added, so I'm gonna go back to my main menu, and at the top here you can see that I have some food tracked. So that meal, uh, just those flapjacks, had um, 15 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, and 2.2 grams of fat, and it subtracted that from the uh, stuff right at the top here. Now, if I click consumed, this shows me how many macros I've consumed, I, but I like to keep it on how many I have left. And then if I click show averages, it gives me an average for the week. Now, I this is my first day in the app here uh, on this example, so I don't have any averages for the week here. But the reason why averages are really important is because your success really relies on consistent healthy choices. One bad day isn't going to make or break your results. And Avatar Nutrition knows that, so it looks at your weekly average. Were you hitting these numbers on average or not? So that is a really nice feature. The second way you can enter in a food is with a scan code. Okay, so again, I'm gonna hit add uh, food. And now I'm gonna click on the top right scan. And I have some peanut butter here. It scans for me, pulls up the, the item. So the label says 16 grams of fat, seven carbs, and eight protein. And if you look in here, this looks correct. However, if sometimes the label on here won't match up what it pulls up, they'll be off slightly, like a company might change their ingredients or recipe and it's not updated in the database yet. So click here and then you can just easily make changes like if this had more fat or whatever you wanted to change, you could change that and hit save. And again, you can select tablespoon here for serving size, grams or ounces. And the cool thing is it automatically does the, the math. So a serving size is two tablespoons, but if you look on the label here, two tablespoons is 32 grams. So if I click grams, it already knows that two tablespoons is 32 grams. And then you can uh, add or subtract the serving size. You can do an odd number if you wanted, like 3.6 or whatever. And I'm gonna keep it at two. And then add that, and that's been added. So I'm gonna go back to my food journal here. And now you can see this meal has 23 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and it has reflected in the very top as well. And the third way you can add food is hit add food. And then in the top right, we have a pencil button, hit that, and you can create your own thing here. So um, let's just say you made, this is really handy for when you're making a meal that has a lot of ingredients, like a casserole or maybe a stir fry or um, a crock pot meal. You can kind of figure out the, in all the, the macros from all the ingredients and then just track it as a single meal in here. Or a lot of times I'll do this if um, the, the product I'm tracking isn't in the avatar database. But this is very simple. We'll just say Tony's burrito. For example, I usually save like my Chipotle order in here. And we'll just say 35 protein, 60 carbs, 28 fats. And as you can see here in the middle calories, it automatically calculates how many calories are in that. We'll say three fiber and then one. And then you can do grams, ounces, or custom unit name. And I'll just say one burrito. Now the really cool thing about this is I can hit star at the top right to save it. So that way when I go back to Chipotle, for example, and get the same order, but let's say that I uh, only eat half the burrito. Once this is saved, I can go in here, click on this and say, you know what? Today I only ate half of that order. And I don't have to recalculate the macros because 
I had already put in what one whole burrito was and now it's automatically gonna calculate uh, the serving size for me if I, I change that serving size. So really handy. Now, I didn't eat a burrito for breakfast. Let's say I had that for lunch. So I'm gonna hold it and I can slide it to lunch. But maybe you decided to track your food ahead of time, right? Like you already knew what you're gonna eat, so you wanted to put in your whole day and see where that left you with your macros. And you decided, you know, I wanna have a bigger dinner, so the burrito is not really gonna work for me today. I'm gonna to take that out. All you do is simply swipe left, and that will delete it. If you want to undo that, just tap undo, and it will bring it back. But uh, if you want to copy something, let's say I had peanut butter for breakfast and I had it with my lunch, I could just swipe right, makes a copy of it, and then I could drag it into a different meal, whatever I want. So really handy. Okay, so let's get into some of the really cool features that Avatar has to make your dieting as flexible as possible. And uh, they have some really cool features. Now, the most important thing when it comes to nutrition is protein and total calories. After protein needs are met, it doesn't matter as much whether the remainder of your calories are made up of carbs or fats. There is some difference depending on your performance goals, but for most people who are simply trying to just feel better, maybe lose a little bit of fat or build some muscle, for the most part, calories and protein are the most important thing, and Avatar knows that. So they're gonna give you a goal amount of carbs and fats each day, but you can trade them for one another if you end up eating more carb-heavy foods throughout the day and you need a more allotment for carbs or vice versa with fat. Now, the cool thing is, is that the calories and fat is more than double the calories and carbs. So the trade off is not one to one. If you if you give yourself one carb and take away one fat, it's not equal in calories. So Avatar actually does the math for you. In the top right, if you click edit balance, I can attribute my fats to carbs or vice versa. I can take carbs away to add more fats. Another really handy feature is you can copy foods and meals from one day to the next. So for example, if I plan on having pan pancakes and peanut butter again tomorrow, I'll just click these three dots on the left, hit copy meal, and then select the date I wanna copy it to, and then boom, it's already in there for the following day. The other cool thing is when you hit add food, the recent items are already populated there in that list for you. So you, if you're again eating the same things over and over, you don't have to just slog through the database to find everything. It makes it very simple. Okay, the last feature that I want to go over is in the advanced uh, settings. So click the three bars in the top left and go to advanced features and the cog at the bottom. And there's a few different things here. I'll just touch on very briefly, high, low days. So that means if you wanna eat more on days where you're maybe training very hard and eat less on days where you're less active, you can set the app to do that. So it'll give you more calories on your heavy exercise days and less calories on your rest days. There's vacation mode, which is where you say, hey, I'm not really gonna be tracking this week. So it kind of just lets you be, it's not ch checking in with you saying, hey, how come you haven't tracked? How come you haven't checked in and done your measurements and all that stuff? Uh, log daily weights, a single weigh-in doesn't really reflect much. So I actually recommend doing it uh, multiple times a week to get an average. And then daily macro adjustments is the feature I really wanna talk about here. So essentially this is like rollover macros. So let's say I was supposed to eat 200 grams of carbs today, but I only had a hundred. I can tell the app, hey, add a hundred carbs to tomorrow so those macros will roll over. On the flip side, let's say I was supposed to eat 200 carbs and I ate 300, then the app would take a hundred carbs away on the following day. Again, the point is to keep me on track on average. And there's two options here for this, aggressive or dispersed. Aggressive means whatever my overage or underage is, it'll be completely reflected on the next day. So if I go over 100 carbs, I'm gonna lose 100 carbs the next day. Dispersed means if I go over 100 carbs today, they'll spread those 100 carbs out over the next few days and subtract them a little bit every day so it's not such a big hit. That's a really nice feature as well. I do recommend turning that on for most people. 
but it's not necessary. So to succeed with macro tracking, it's very simple. You just take what you eat and you log it into the Avatar Nutrition app and you try to get it to the point where all three of the circles at the top are in the green. If they are blue, that means you have macros left to eat in that particular category. If they are green, it means you are within range. And if they are purple, it means you are over. So for example, here it would say I am over on protein, but in range on carbs and fats. And today I'm still in the blue on all three because I've only had one meal. So the idea is every week you check in, you check your weight, and the app will say, okay, you hit your macros as we prescribed, and you either hit your weight loss or weight gain goal, or you didn't. If you were compliant with your macros and you didn't reach your weekly goal for your weight change, it will adjust your macros. If it worked and you did meet your required weight loss or weight gain, it would keep your macros the same. And if you lost too much weight or gained too much weight, depending on your goal, then it would actually potentially increase your calories or decrease your calories and macros. So it's very simple. And the reason why we love doing macro tracking is because it helps you learn what's in your food. Many people come into our gym thinking that they eat healthy. And once we have them keep a journal, they go, wow, I was eating crap. I wasn't eating any protein. I was eating a ton of processed carbs and not much else. That's a really common story. But for the most part, most people are eating more calories than they think they are and eating far less protein than they need. So the, the system is really easy. It can be really fun. And we get a lot of questions about how serious do you need to take it? Do you need to weigh all of your food? For the most part, if you are new to tracking, we do recommend weighing things like your meats, so your steak and poultry and things like that. But for most things, you can just try to stick with a serving size on a package. And once you get more experience with keeping a food journal, you will be very good at being able to eyeball. If you are curious about the results with Avatar Nutrition, I have personally lost over 70 pounds with this system and kept most of it off despite some severe health challenges and really crazy exercise restrictions. Coach Andy has completely transformed his body composition using Avatar Nutrition, as has Coach Katie, and countless members of ours at Architect Fitness have used this to increase their performance build muscle, lose fat. No matter what your goal is, nutrition is going to play a key part. And we think macro tracking is the best place to start with your nutrition, especially if you're new and you don't really have a good understanding of nutrition science. You will learn so much just by going through this process. Now, like I mentioned before, if you are a member, some of our memberships actually include Avatar Nutrition subscriptions for free, but you can also add it to your membership through us uh, at a discount counted rate or if you are not a member of Architect Fitness and you want to work with us remotely on your nutrition, please reach out or you can simply use the coupon code KODDY to get, I believe, 10% off your Avatar subscription. There's no monthly minimum contract, so you can cancel it at any time and you can also get a discount if you pay for a year up front. That's everything for now. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or send me an email, tony at architectfitness.com.